All right, today was a difficult day for the cities of Richmond Heights and Bedford. I say it was difficult because university hospitals closed inpatient and emergency departments at their community hospitals there. Bedford, however, is not going down without a fight as they now have filed a lawsuit in an effort to keep the hospital open, at least temporarily. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us now with what's new on this difficult situation. Monica, good afternoon. What can you tell us? Oh, good afternoon, Jay. Yeah, the city of Bedford filed a temporary restraining order in Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Court accusing university hospitals of racial discrimination, fraud, and health care inequality. This morning, a judge rejected that restraining order but set a hearing for Tuesday to reevaluate the issue. The city also filed a formal federal complaint with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, alleging a breach of civil rights as well. Meanwhile, today, the last patient was transferred to another UH hospital. The staff closed down the emergency rooms. You can see that the uh, signs are coming down there at Bedford. Now, UH is citing severe staffing shortages as one reason for both of the, those closures. They're currently trying to fill 3,000 health care positions. Doctors' offices will remain so people can still get their appointments at that location. But the mayor is concerned for residents who depend on the nearly 100-year-old hospital. We can be that hospital in three minutes. Now it's going to take us much longer to go to another hospital, and they're going to be busier because the people go in there. It's just going to snowball, and uh, it's really going to be a detriment to the safety of our citizens and the surrounding communities. So what are the options? Well, let's take a look. Here's Bedford. They can go to a, a UH Ahuja is 6.2 miles away in Beechwood. Cleveland Clinic's Marymount Hospital is four and a half miles away in Garfield Heights. And South Point is 3.8 miles away in Warrensville Heights. Now let's take a look at Richmond Heights because they're going to be able to use UH's Lake West Hospital in Willoughby, which is also 6.1 miles away, or the Cleveland Clinic's Euclid Hospital five miles away, Jay. Yeah, and it doesn't sound like much, but those roads obviously take more than five minutes to travel. And as you know, in emergency situations, every minute is precious and can be the difference between life and death. As for UH, Monica, how have they responded to the Bedford lawsuit? What have they said? Yeah, late this afternoon, they put out a statement saying the decision to move inpatient care and emergency department from UH Bedford Medical Center was difficult and not taken lightly, but the direct result of that decision is higher quality care for the community as UH is now able to utilize staff more effectively. The legal action filed late yesterday is being handled by counsel and is without merit. They also added that they remain committed to the Bedford community and its health and well-being. We're going to have to just wait and see if CMS responds to that complaint next week and what happens in court on Tuesday. Now at 6 J, I'll give you a retrospective about previous hospital closings in our region. This is not the first time we've seen all this. No, it's not. Monica, we'll look forward to that. We'll see you again at 6. Sure. Thank you.